measure and eight for us. Right of God from 833. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> That's my Is number. this a 310 or not? This is a Blessed be happy. <laughs> <laughs> well, that all derives from the number that um, we're still waiting on for. We've got a 903, look at that. It's got to mean something. No matter what it is, that's what it is. So whatever it is, that's it. Or it could be something else. Just it. A eunuch of Ixus, Berlinda, Big Soul. This might not be a number either. The symbolic of a false teacher from 1109. A Noah, an expert from 1097. Let's start with it. To know. Understand. All right, so by gaining attention, um, Francis makes us stupid representing Lucifer. Raised himself above God. And was renowned for it when he was a young priest of wanting the attention. So forsook God. So that's the Lucifer prophecy. And then you work out how old it was when I married on. Things like that. So, we go back to the stars. You get that, that uh, location, John? Yes. Cool. Yeah, 26 rewinds. That's good. There you go. Here's that 153 number again. So that's Peter. How many times the word Peter is found, you see? So here's Peter in prison. And an earthquake in the prophecy of Peter will open all the doors. So that's new. We're going to get, say, 2631 and 1530. We did those numbers yesterday. Well, in another way, from working on something else in the stones. Mm. Which I forget what I love now. Um, the date we want is uh, today. So that's the fourth. This is getting to the resurrection. And it's a one the second time around you don't want to see. That's me coming back. Like, that's a real scary situation. Like, what, like it? 16. <laughs> if I. Do you like that? When I got the, the yeah. uh, ticket for parking <laughs> in a disabled zone, 16 in this no. sports car. <laughs> <laughs> this got my license. Mm -hmm. Give you my license, he takes it, he doesn't know what he's doing. At that exact moment, he's riding out the 1605 in the afternoon down there. And we're going to look to a star is drinking above it. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see if we get this right. <laughs> Looks good. That's it. Looks good. Right, there we go. Now it's at magnitude 6. And we have Eta. It's an unusual word, isn't it? What is that? Eta. 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 It's got the margarine. Eta. Right. Eta. So what is in it? Eta. The learn to say it's very difficult. <laughs> Estimated time of arrival. <laughs> Minus four. Plus, oh, good number, 776. That's the earth. Plus 56. It's an 832. Ash. Again. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> 
There's no escaping me. Popping up all over the joint. Yes. Its altitude is 88.83. <laughs> so the next minute, next second, it will tick over to 88.88. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> That's a 5.3 magnitude. Right? That is brighter than the 5 magnitude of the other one in the other cosmos. So, this is where we are here, and this is the one that's YBS1628. Its magnitude is 5. Right? The 6 you can see with the human eye, a 5 you can't see. Zebra plane mm. and a 5.3 you can't see. So you've got a 5.0 and a 5.3. You've got to look it up. Be dead. Finish your life. Mm. Listen. In the morning. Mm. Dawn. Five zero five one. Resurrection. Mm. Brilliancy. The brightness of light. This is a uh, memo backup somewhere. I haven't got it plugged in. It's just told me they to back it up for me. I oh, think you. They <laughs> <laughs> haven't got it plugged in. Oh, <laughs> Cause to shine, to illuminate, to glitter. Is it possible we can frighten this poor silly fool so much that he actually arises from the dead? Because the angels are coming to get you. Every knee will bow. They're going to basically the same experience. I say the night's not an old chap. Ah, well, I didn't realise the thing was wrong. That's that. And I'll turn it off the other light. There we go. Let's do a pinnacular zoom in. Can't do it with me, can do it with the mouse. Uh -huh. right, this zoom is very important. In there. I'm going to take control here. Ah, there it is. Isn't it bloody wonderful, isn't it? Jeez, that's great. Let's get you a bit centered. Taking it in. See? <laughs> there we go. Right. Now, the more intelligent you are, the more difficult it is to understand people. The more stupid you are, the more you are being devoured by evil. So here's the reincarnation seven times of Lucifer. He manifests in anyone he wants to be in, but ultimately is forced to go into the one that becomes the person. He's absolutely caught. Can't get out of it. In other words, I've set it up. So this dopey thing is drawn like a moth to the flame to be identified as dog. Right? That's what we've done. <clears throat> and uh, You're so stupid. Sends me talking to Christ as rat singing. <laughs> and all the witnesses. He tells me he's going to do what he's done with them. And he's not going to tell us where they are. But each time he says it, he says it differently. 
because she's telling us what he's done. Huh? You can watch uh, the severity of the uh, movement to, uh, let's say, another country for uh, Maria de la Rosa. The biographer. Now, how is it possible to keep her from talking? How is it possible? She's blessed by God. She knew and can say absolutely with certainty that God was back. Now, we then have the idiot saying that George is forbidden to listen to me and not to talk about it. <laughs> Look, it's pathetic. <laughs> this is what Lucifer is complete and utter babbling moron. It doesn't know. It thinks doing evil is good. Because he's God. Mad as hell. So you gotta get rid of him. Like this is death sentence. So we look up the numbers. Again. Time, I got the parking infringement into a, a handicapped zone with this cop for giving me a ticket. Yeah. Like, like a, a moth should have landed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, little America right before you run. First and final notice. Like, <laughs> yeah, you first and final. <laughs> the second one is final, not the first one. <laughs> Got a six six five seven number. It's so exciting, isn't it? <laughs> Done. <laughs> Filthiness, excrement, <laughs> dirt. A feminine of. <laughs> what did I call Cardinal Dolan when I was a fat gut and filthy piece of shit? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's Many right. to issue, soiled as if excrementatious. There you go. Filthy. Filthy piece of shit. <laughs> Cardinal Dolan. Uh, next Dolan. number is 7824. <laughs> <laughs> Aboard, chip thin, sealed with 7828. Okay, coffin. To me, to peel, emaciate. The gull as thin, a cuckoo. Right? It's nuts. Right? It's absolutely nuts. <laughs> so long, farewell. We just say goodbye. Now, it's come up on the screen as I'm starting uh, uh, Home Planet. This computer, I had to set it to avoid a virus because the time based virus would make it do all sorts of strange things when it reached a certain date. So I put the date back. So this is the 10:48 uh, 19 pm Fiji Standard Time. <laughs> Thursday. April 4th, 2002. We're going to see what I was looking at. 21 days, 22 hours. That's Revelation 21, 22. Thank you very much. Game, set, and match. So we're going to have a look at that verse, right? You've got it. You, are, you have no option. Whatever it is, you've got to do it because someone else will do it. Because it might be your death sentence. But you have to to bullshit your way out of something. Mm. <laughs> Revelation 21. 22. So, first off, you've got a 1, which is Alpha, which is God, and 2, 2, 2, which is my body weight. How many times the word truth? How many times the word wisdom? Uh, 
and number 21-22 is Opportunity in Season from 21-21. We haven't read the verse yet. <laughs> but we get warmed up. In time of need. From the 2540 well timed and the 2095. That's all good. Say it, Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Prime Eus. So you say Eus. 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 Or Eus. Good. Well done. All right. Where the hell was that? I forgot where I was that. Oh, yeah. Now we go to Hebrew 21. 22. Countenance, brightness, cheerfulness, 2099. Like, this is what it says. The month of May. Hmm. <laughs> it's the month of May. Why? Revelation 1118. Look, I didn't read that one yet. And I saw no temple therein, for the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are the temple of it. Where was I going? You forgot to do it. There's to 2 1. What was it? 2 1 1 2. Forgotten. It's right when you get on. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Did you remember what I said? <laughs> so interesting, she's sleeping through her. I told her to be back. <laughs> I had this brilliant something or other. Two one two four, wasn't it? Two one two four eight two four or what was it? Huh? It was two one two. Two one two four. Uh, oh one up. First go. Revelation. Revelation twenty one twenty two. One one eighteen. Oh yes, that's May eighteen. May. May eighteen. And the nations were angry and thy wrath is come, and the time of the dead. That they should be judged, mm. and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, and to the saints, and them that fear the name, small and great, and shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. That is the death sentence of Lucifer, and everyone like him. Mm. Everyone who thinks he is a saint from this point onwards is going to help him. Sound good? That means everyone is bad. Because anyone who rejects me now is going to hell. <laughs> the star in the world that rejected is what? On this rock I will build my church. They have rejected my half brother because they know it's Simon, Simon Peter, the second born of Mary, of the first form of Joseph. <laughs> that all come out one, 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 one little ticket, ticket. <laughs> and the number of the tickets because this is just a serial number but then each one is an individual one after that mm. and that number is eight <laughs> <laughs> So we have an 8248. The word is Shah Kol. To quaff, to irritate or furnish a portion, a potion to, P O T I O N, right? To quaff, cultivate, to irrigate or furnish a potion to, cause to give, give, give to, 
let make to drink down moisten water C 7937 and 8354. That made me thirsty. Drink. Banquet. <laughs> yeah, let's have a 8248. Eight. <laughs> Would you like some? Yeah. Water? Absolutely. Want to cry. Seven nine three seven. So, what we're going to do is make up a container of cordial silver, ozonated water, treated with the magnetism and the magnets, with love written all over it, pure water, distilled water. Just a little so with my blood in it. And then everyone who's going to paradise has to drink a thimble. Thank you very much. And when it's empty, that's it. Those who remain. Crunk the blood. And what is it says that? It's like that verse. Uh, <laughs> as if I don't know. <laughs> Drink blood. And the Jews drink blood for Christians because they're after the Holy Spirit. This is why they've been kicked out of eight countries. There's 18 found. Two are drink blood. It's in Ezekiel. Now Ezekiel is 3168, as Lord Jesus Christ. And the verse is 3917. So we learn about the verse first. A spectre, a night spectre, a screech owl. This is uh, Lilith, the female Satan. Lucifer, what, Lucifer's female. Lucifer's female. Mm. Is no, that one saying that name? Hey? Lilith, is it? Yeah. Lilith, Lilith or Lilith? Yeah, it was like a very popular show that children used to watch all the time. Uh, they had one of the main characters in it with Lilith. And she was very, very skinny, wore black all the time and white skin. But funny. So it was very, very popular and that ran for years and Michelle used to watch it all the time. So it's to twist away from the light and um, predictably adversity from uh, 3883. It goes to Isaiah 2111. Right now, it reads, And thou, son of man, thou saith the Lord God, speak unto every feathered fowl, and to every beast of the field, assemble yourselves, and come, gather yourselves on every side to my sacrifice that I do sacrifice for you, even a great sacrifice upon the mountains of Israel, that ye may eat flesh and drink blood. Now, of the 18, it's found again in Ezekiel, and that's it, only two. And ye shall eat fat till ye be full, and drink blood till ye be drunken, and my sacrifice which I have sacrificed for you. So, now, to get into paradise, you've got to drink a molecule of my blood, because I've proven it'll either cure you or kill you. Right? That's what I wrote to the Pope. That was where my eldest stepdaughter, Dominic, um, had become involved with this um, sex cult from Indonesia. And this guy was supposed to be the king. And he was becoming ill. And uh, it's a form of Buddhism. 
And as he was getting sicker, I asked why is he getting sick? He says that he's, he's taking on all the sins of the people. Right? So he's dying for them. Got a good, got a good flavor there. Mm. So they used to sit in up all night watching him as he's getting sicker and sicker in this lovely mansion down in Turin. And they'd sit with him all night and do whatever he wished with comfort him. And she asked me, she said, would your miracle water cure him? I said, well, he's got to do exactly what I was saying. Not pick it up. You're going to feel so good. Don't get out of there. Really good. But it'll cure him. But it's all he's got to do. Listen to what I'm saying. It's how I pray. So she takes uh, some of my blood and the miracle blood on it. And she gives it to me. He feels so good. He gets up. Out the back of the toilet. Down the cobblestone from up here. As a big bottle. you be coming back. Boom. Flat. Dead. Cross eyed. Face down on the cobblestone. Dead. Still. I said to her before she took it, will either cure me or kill him. We'll kill him. Now, a friend of Michelle's, Mary Magdalene, she uh, went to school with Denise and her husband. Very nice fellow. Might have met him for the first time. And uh, he was funny as a circuit. But he had lung cancer. And I said, well, I can fix that. She said, yeah, yeah. He told me how arrogant it was when they stuck needles in his lung to drain them off. I said, that's okay. Yeah. And I said, well, they're just torturing you to death. So, okay. so I said, I'll bring some murder water. So I'll bring it up. I said, now, you're going to take it. You're going to feel so good. Don't get up. She said, you're a big man. You've been overweight, lying around for years now. I said, let her take me up there. Still sick, right? Mind a bit. I said, now here, yeah. I call Denise, this is how much he's got to take. Next day, I get a phone call, he's dead. <laughs> Stupid bastard. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I said, all you can do, don't get up. And it'll kill you. No, That's what you're in both cases. Yes, he said, oh, you're going to feel fantastic. Do not get up. He felt so good, he got up, got along on Cranked it up, was pushing it into a foot high grass, but he met her at the front, it's about half an acre. He's going to cut the lot, and he cut three metres into it and fell on his face dead. <laughs> <laughs> Just long enough for a coffin. <laughs> <laughs> so when we go to the funeral, I'd do everything with my GPS at the time, and I'd record it on the computer. It was brilliant, you just download it on the computer and show the speed you're going. And it has no, and so you go from point A, you might do a, trip, a bit of a turn on the road, 100 metres later, another point. Yeah. It gives you speed across that. Well, very, very clever. So it was going like 90 kilometres per hour, 50 kilometres per hour, 25 kilometres per hour, 888 kilometres per hour, 52 kilometres per hour, 64 kilometres per hour. <laughs> 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 on the way to his funeral. That's a dumb bastard. <laughs> <laughs> So, I told the Pope, my beloved brother, he's Simon, same mother as me, as Mary, right? <laughs> he's quite rad. It was a marvellous thing for him to, to have to uh, endure this. Now, this is Lunation 981, which I set on this thing before, it's set to 2002. <laughs> Jane Nicholas. <laughs> oh dear. No doubt about it. Oh dear, oh dear. Endless. No <laughs> Greek. To accumulate further. To heap. <laughs> what are we saying? 
And the girls got more numbers, you go chase them out. Like one is 9909, well, just go there. This is agony. Super in position of time, place, order, as a relation and distribution with the genitive case. It goes on. As I always do, the uh, switch the translation to uh, 1909 because it's a something you must do. Mm. You can't get out of it. Right. That takes you to Hadad, to his helper. Hadaza, a Syrian king. Right. Compare 1928. Where's this going? From 1908. Get to the point. Gone from 111. That's how many kings are there, right? So we've got one, one, one. We now go to the next one, which of course is a false king. He's not the true king, he's, he's a lunatic. She's a lunatic. Can you imagine this Francis character? I should call him Francis one because he's dead in a couple of days. Has brought thugs in. Researchers. Mm. And the incredible thing, it's so stupid, it sends me an email with his name on it. From Ratzinger's plant. So where? It's just interesting. Let's say he's down near the dungeon where the spirit of Lucifer has leapfrogged into this moron, uh, Francis, known as the, that's why they raised up the, uh, Pope John Paul II. You know, the most evil man that's ever existed. When he seen me in Sydney, he absolutely froze with terror. There was ecstatic, still said, they're doing all pain. Absolutely, it would be actually. It would, wouldn't it? It would be very interesting. A crowd or scene, like Totem Hill, Breakfast Hill, yeah. Just have me stand, I have my hands in the shell on my hips like this, looking at me. So then this asshole comes around the corner, then I realise it's a pope. Mm. <laughs> that's what told me up the bloody traffic jam. This asshole comes to town, I'm going to the markets, right? Yeah. <laughs> I was in Day Street. <laughs> I mean, it's so bloody endless. You can put in now the word day, because that's where it was, right? You can look it up on Google Earth. 3117. Is that so? Mm. Nice. Is it in Sydney or Melbourne? Sydney. It's in Revelation 2125. And the gates of it shall not be shut at all by day, and there shall be no night there. And they shall bring the glory and honour of the nations into it, and there shall in no wise enter into it anything that defileth. Neither whatsoever work at the abomination or make at the lie, but they which are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. It's Australia, that's why. Um, that's the last verse in that one, by the way. 2125 eh, is another number. Without fear, reverence. From 21.26, see that also becomes a revelation number. 21.2, for example. Devout, pious, religious person. Carefully. And the gates of it shall not be shut at all by day, and there shall be no night there. 
April. This is that. On 21-24. Prominence. This is that. On 21-23. Fullness of the breast, also a moving creature, abundance, a wild beast. Ziz, <laughs> conspicuous. So, we have, I sense it, uh, and I really cannot recall, when I looked at Clive, I thought, now, He's a man here for a reason, and he don't know what it is. But he's made this enormous amount of money, and doesn't appear when I look at him that it means anything to him. Mm. It's just money, but he can do good with it. It's certainly good. Yeah, he's he's obviously looking to do good for people, but in a sense of. But he don't trust adults. Entertainment, from an entertainment sort of thing, like theme parks and Titanic ships and things. Yeah. Mini golf. I think he'd get a lot more satisfaction out of kicking off the We walk past the park. You can probably get up and Google it. We walk past the park where the uh, his building is flat and it looks like it's being prepared for, and then we later on find that he's going to put in a, uh, a putt putt golf course, the most spectacular one on earth, <laughs> for the kiddies to come. Yeah. And they could have competitions to see who could go through it quickest, become a world champion at that particular park. Mm. Great idea. Yeah, I mean, it's a wholesome game for the kiddies. Oh. That's good fun, actually. You know, and you see people Let's say a little kid, you've got a crush on his girlfriend of yours, you haven't talked to her. And she's gone two or three groups ahead of you. And of course, as you're put putting away, she's getting closer and closer to you meet and then go off again. That becomes a, a permanent memory of the first love of a, another human being. In the godlike way. Great idea. All right, so we've got the full moon on the 18.26 on the 28th of March, 2002. <laughs> I'm going to go there. 18.26 becomes to be dumb, to be astonished, to be silent. Goes on to 7.24, 18.20. There we go. Right. We'll go to uh, Greek. 1826. Now, on top of that, um, to wish you leave a place to escape to the shore, to depart. Good to land, good option. On 1537, which we've done that number a little while ago, let's roll the thing back. Donate origin point whence motion proceeds from. <laughs> Very nice young fellow. Yeah. Point is, I come leaping up behind him like a zipper on a bad back. <laughs> I said, oh, it's mine, yeah. So we start talking about it. He said, yeah, you're a disabled part. He said, yeah, I'm disabled. He said, you haven't got a sticker. He said, I'm disabled. I'm not sticker for I wasn't disabled two days ago. Huh? Get it by bus. I'm disabled. <laughs> <It's unbelievable. laughs> he said, I got the right job. I said, you could. Huh? I said, how much it worth? No, he gets out and close to put down and so on. And there's a guy, and actually, they've got these bloody, all these things in the back, and he reached over and pulled it out. He looked at I think he's on the radio. He wasn't. He's looking at this thing. Oh, this is the other guy. Oh, right, $44. He'll put the fine amount in. 
<laughs> so it comes out the youth didn't matter how much they put on them. You've got 30 days to pray or take the court or whatever. <laughs> right. Write down the number, where I'm from, why haven't I got a sticker on it? I said, this is my birthday present. I went down to pick it up, right, because we're having a holiday up here. Right? So my sticker is on the other car, the other Victorian car. I said, I've got these Richard make, I'm still disabled. Right? That's what it's for. Right? <laughs> You're just been hit by a bus. You're not expecting to get a sprinting off around the block. <laughs> I'm not this guy, bro. I've got to write you up this. <laughs> he didn't really like what he's doing. <laughs> really. <laughs> Please do. They're examining the license and see the hole. You can see through it. The plastic in the middle is clear. A very good idea. So you're looking at this thing. I thought there's probably a restaurant out for me. <laughs> I'm waiting for to go for the radio, I'm not going to get that card at all. It would have been a beautiful, beautiful shot. <laughs> all this is going on, as this has been written up. Uh, your father, and she's making him read it, right? He said, No, I get it, she's brief. No, I'm saying, no, no, read it, right? He makes her read it. Now he makes she makes him read it. And yeah, the both read it again, that's our point. <laughs> She's doing a comedy. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> All right. So that as I say, you can go on forever there. You got the distance to the man. It's in 21, 23 hours, 16 minutes. It's uh, 61, 1. It's at sub 10, moon sub 10 number, point 0.5114 degrees. Then you've got the sun, 53309. Then you've got the lunation, 980 and 981. And all these wonderful numbers, but the last quarter, exactly, is the 4th of April, 2002. So we changed the date to now. Now, it's exactly on the last quarter, right? Two seven, two two. The last quarter is the third of April. You're in lunation 1116 and 1117. So you can take the 908 away from that, and you can have a number you can go forever on that. Then you've got uh, the moon distance is Isaiah 57.6 being 57.6 Earth radii. Then you've got the 5420 sub tens and the, for the moon, and 5329 sub tens for the sun. So let's do that 5329. Well, you've got to do them all, but do one. This is the sun. Ferez, 6557. 6556. Five, six. To break forth. From 6555, five, five. that's the Christ number now, right? 6 and a 5555, five, five, five. you must always remember that's the Christ number. To break out applications of direct and indirect, literally, figuratively, abroad, make a breach, break away, down, forth, in, up, burst out, come, spread, abroad, compel, disperse, grow, increase. This lunatic. Francis has no idea of what he's telling the world through one email. He's such an idiot. Has no idea what a computer can do. <laughs> right? He's got two researchers there that are allowing Father Giuseppe his last wish as a priest. We're going to do it, And that is to speak to me. 
Mr. Nazim. And what they do to him doesn't do it. Mm. Right. Um, Compel to break out the broad urge. So, four. So, we go to uh, Revelation. Because you're in that blue nation now, Revelation. One, 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 six. So that's what you're in up until April 10th. And the four and twenty elders which sat before God in their seats fell upon their faces and worshipped God. So in other words, the, the optimists and hatred which is in heaven are the twelve wisest men. Solomon went on. These are the patriarchs, they're the first two of them. Their combined names in Hebrew geometria is 3168. <laughs> 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 huh? The one, Seth, the second one in charge, is my body weight when I was born. <laughs> huh? I got a book, an old Bible, 1698 Bible, which is Marshall. Uh, there's a little boy born to the Gardner family. I grew up, I was conceived on Gardner's Road, went to school on Gardner's Road twice. Uh, I hate it every second. And uh, this little boy lived for 777 days. Burn for Gardner. It's, it's in Bible. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Actually, I should do a uh, photograph of it. Actually, I've got it in here somewhere. Which part is that? That little bar? Little, little one with the with the leather. Yeah, I think that's just in the room there. Is that what you're gonna grab it? Put it on the camera as a super set. We need to read it, so. Alright, so um, on the tenth of April we're here, we're into number one 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 seven saying we give thee thanks to the Lord God Almighty which art and wast and art to come because thou hast taken to thee thy great power and has reigned. Is that the one? one? Mm -hmm. i just uh Read that one anyhow. That's why I opened it up, Pat. And then Matthew one twenty three is over here, and you'll notice that the the uh, F replaces the S in lots of cases. All right. So they wrote some Bibles in that day. The guy had a hair lip. I can't even read that top line. Well, what you've got to do is you damp it with your, with your uh, finger. Like, wipe it on there? Yeah, just, just dip it on a little bit at a time, just see if it works. You see anything? Just a bit of spit on it. A bit more, man. <laughs> One's one place, not everywhere. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Which it, with it, stick it on, hold it on. I think I'm rolling it. Think rolling of it as a too. joint. <laughs> this have a paper bottle. Is that is it Julius Garcia or John J O H N John John Garcia no Gardner oh John Gardner right it's a um very strange to me it's a I when I read that I I, I took every muscle in my body not to cry. Because here's this young woman. She gives birth to a son in dreadful times. Food is scarce. And the baby ends up suffering because she can't nourish it properly. Mm. And uh, because of the food conditions at that time in the United States. And the baby dies. But he dies on a specific date after his birth, which was 777 days. So there is. That must be his birthday, Tuesday. 28th of January. 
two. Uh, we have what year? Eighteen hundred. Eighteen. Uh, 28th of January. Yes. Tuesday. Well, I was born on Tuesday. That must be 1802, isn't it? Yeah, it's got 1800. It says uh, Tuesday, 28th of January, 1800. And then in the next line, it says 17th of March, 1802. I can't read what it says 17th here. 17th of March. Well, it's seven, seven, eight days. So you say from birth, 777 days later you die. And the number is 111 and one day. Now, we bring up the calculator. take seven seven eight days now I just said in this video that number go back in time right? I divide that by 365.24 there's 2130 okay so we take the number 777 divided by, because now it's in Australia, 365.2424. There's 2127, which is first chronicles by the term here, and it's the age difference between the coal and the Is Exactly the same. So there's your miracle, right? I bought that for $110. Now, what would possess a gardener descended from that son? A stone. Where did that come from? Is it from a deceased state? Mm. They all did. And I bought it for $110. It's a 1698 Bible. <laughs> Look, is that not a miracle? It's good one, isn't it? Yeah. I like that one best of all. I'll pay that one, definitely. <laughs> That's definitely a well-worn out book. Now, it's got so much. It's like a um, Hessian, you know? Yeah, oh. yeah it's, it's, uh, it's a hem. Oh, all right. What's my name? It's all right, too. Yeah. It's got a seed in there, which you noticed. I just remembered that from um, when we were at Toowoomba, I think. Yeah. Well, you know. well, so you, you should do a uh, close up that with your camera and splice it into this when you're finished, right? Mm. Now, that's a seed of, of purity blessed by a holy Bible. Now, see, that's holy because of what the people wrote in that. It's not holy, not holy because of what it says. But you'll notice where it is actually lined up. What, what, what verse is it covering? That little shooting you grab one. Okay. And you can push a cake then. Hey, come on, What? Shame! <laughs> well, just give me the water, I'll break that. But, <laughs> oh, we've got to make some more. That's gone too. Mm. <laughs> that is more than gone. So we've got number 
Now, if you look at Matthew 123 there, it lines up with the last dot of that writing that lady had done about her death. So I think it's the, the last piece to subscribe. So down here. Yeah. Lines up, goes straight across. When that would be closed, where would it be resting upon? Like you mean yeah. like this area? Yeah. So what lines up with it there? Where we could think it? What's that? It's very small and faded. M I something or other David of or David the King. So this is David the King again. You see what the verse it is? No, I don't think so. Okay, now David and the word king is found 153 times, which is Peter again. The last one is 1322, Acts. And when he had removed him, he raised up unto them David to be their king, to whom also he gave testimony and said, I have found David the king. To whom also he gave testimony and said, I have found David, the son of Jesse, a man after mine own heart, which shall fulfill all my will. Of this man's seed hath God, according to this promise, raised unto Israel a saviour, Jesus. And there's a seed. See it. Hmm. Now, just give me something else winds up with Matthew 120. I think, it, yeah, it looks like uh, I did see the little numbers there 5 to about 11, 5 to 11 or 12 there. Chapter 1, I think it is. It's just really faded and tiny. Got a magnifying glass? No, we um, have one at one stage, didn't we? Okay, now this is covering yeah. up Matthew chapter 2, oh, chapter two. 8. sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the young child. When ye have found him, bring me word again, that I may come and worship him also. This is the betrayal, right? Now the seed is sitting on, and he sent them. So sent them, and then he goes, that's one part of the seed. And said, I go. So the word is search and search. You take that out. Or maybe just search. The end, you can still see it. And then it goes down to the young child and it hits another end. That goes down. So what you would do there, you take the geometry of all of that, take out the, uh, and you've also got to change the um, send, for example, is F E N D. You can still see the F E N. Mm. So you take the D out. So you've changed the S to an F in this particular Bible, and then you see the H E N. So you take a T out. 
Was the F S thing? Was that just the style at the time? Or? For some reason, brother, they. I think the guy who, who actually read this and wrote it out had a lisp. See, you can send them. Yeah, I think it's a lisp. It's a right to Because everyone who read it from then on had to have a lisp. <laughs> This one here it comes out of Matthew 123. It refers to uh, First Peter 23. So in the margin of this particular Bible, it's lovely how they've done it. Um, when you read this verse, it's referring to the same in First Peter 23. So we go there and have a look. First Peter 23. So it might be First Peter 2 and 3. Wherefore, laying aside all malice and all guile and all hypocrisies and envies and all evil speakings, Likewise, ye wives, be in subjection to your own husbands, that if any obey not the word, they also may without the word be won by the conversation of the wives. That lines up with uh, Matthew. Uh, 1 23 because that's where it's lined up with here. It's Matthew 123, it's right on top of it. Mm. Behold, a virgin shall be with child and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, value 84, or 1694 in this, which being interpreted is God with us. Now, Hank's just come back in line, and when Michelle and I flew over to meet him in the airport, um, the distance is 1694 either miles or kilometers, miles I think, from Mill Street to where we met him in the park. We've got everything covered. <laughs> now can you imagine this Francis more than doing anything like this? <laughs> right? Just so you can manage to wash a few feet. Right, I'll just get warmed up. Mm. <laughs> as maddening as it is, it is very exciting because you go and do things over and over and over again. And of course, um, we have this absolute stranger situation. We would never believe possible that Lucifer would be so stupid not to know how computers work. And he's got men around him who are so stupid they don't know that what they're saying is, first off, it's infantile. The English is atrocious. And it's recorded forever, so we can then put that on a video. Six million people tonight can see it. This is what Lucifer sent to Christ from Benedict's He's now taken home. Mm. Forbidding. Removed all the, yeah, 
holy people from around him in the place of subs. <laughs> this just staggers me. So we'll stop this here. Remember how. Uh, yeah. I've got the control over here. <laughs> right, that's one stopped. Okay, and cut.